Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we'll be looking at an update from Gaia and the closest zoom in ever on the sun's fine scale loops and fields. We're still in a minor proton storm at the moment, so let's start with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. It was a much quieter day. There's still surging and minor pops bottom left at the incoming smattering of sunspots, but no significant solar flares the last 24 hours. The risk remains it was just a day of growth and spreading in the active regions but more flaring from those groups is likely today. Let's take a peek at them here. Big groups, fair amount of magnetic complexity, and still two or three days until they face Earth directly. We've got eyes firmly locked on the X-ray flux today, watching for those eruptions. And as I mentioned, we are still in a minor proton storm. This is interesting because the eruptive events occurred on the incoming limb, which is the least likely place to trigger proton events. We will also be watching to see if this is sustained today or if it begins to wane back down. Up next, we're going to Gaia, where several new animations and discoveries await. They're tracking the large-scale history of our galaxy, identifying stellar streams and localized groups. It's tracking asteroids in the local neighborhood, engaging the warp and tilt of the galactic disk. The link to all of these is below. Gaia keeps breaking the glass ceiling and discovering more and more about our galaxy, past, present, and future. Other top story today comes to the sun. The DKIST instrument has the best super zoom ability when it comes to our star, and we now have the closest ever look at the fine loops and fields populated with plasma. Here they are zooming in on an active region and watching high cadence sequences to see the very minuscule oscillations and shifts of those loops. This is so zoomed in that if the Earth's scale was here, it would take up most of the screen. Folks, all the links are below the video in the description box. Everything that you could need for Observer Ranch, for our e-magazine, for the homework and background information needed to watch this channel, and much more. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.